Hi, welcome to Wend Wendy's. We're fresh, it's never frozen. How can I take your order today? How can I take your order today? This is Wendy's. We're fresh, it's never frozen. Oh, so you would like a six peak uh, spicy chicken nuggets with a fry and a McFlurry? I have spicy chicken. Oh, so you would like uh, six spicy chicken nuggets with a McFlurry then? I would like or you would like? You would like. I'm this, uh, thank you for shopping at Wendy's. This is Wendy's. We're fresh. It's never frozen. How can I take your order today? I think you're in the wrong drive-thru. The wrong drive-thru? This is, isn't this, right? <laughs> you're, you're at Wendy's right now. Mm, I don't think so. No? Oh, okay, well, have a great day. Thank you. Yep. Come again. Driving up to Chick fil A since we can't go inside. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. How can I take your order today? It's a great day at Chick fil A. How many turkeys today? Oh, no, yeah. So you want a Big Mac and some medium fries, is that right? Is that correct? All right, well, thank you so much for shopping today at McDonald's. And from that, we're learning that it's about expressing who you are and being your true self. Nice hat, Chad. Thanks. Now, welcome to Ms. Okamoto's. Miss Okamoto. <laughs> Mr. Okamoto's YouTube channel. All right. Thanks for joining me today. So first thing I want to go over is some communication techniques. So please only communicate to me through Google Hangouts or email to right so go to gmail all of this is under gmail go to compose compose a new email and send it to me or you can do a google hangout this is the quickest most efficient way to get in touch with me so you go to the bottom left side of your screen right here right here okay and you press you press plus and you type in whatever name you would like to say so if you wanted to contact Mr. Howlett you would type in Mr. Howlett and see we already have having have had a conversation about some technical issues earlier and you would just say type whatever message you would want say hello how lit is your life right now lol get it all right but and then you press send and you can have an active conversation. If you would like, you can also video and voice call them through this function. As well, please do not, do not comment through Google Classroom assignments. I repeat, do not. I recommend, I highly do not want you to uh, comment on Google Classroom's assignments. Okay? Do not, please do not. I get hundred I get dozens and dozens of emails from that and it's hard to get to it is indirect communication please 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 use Google Hangouts or email so kids let's get started today it's gonna look a little bit the same as every other day all right there will be less tabs than before so today you're gonna go on Wednesday March 18th under today's work under classwork right here remember it's classwork right here and it's right here so you're going to go here you're going to answer today's bell work question today's bell work question for sixth and seventh grade is what have been some good and bad things about e-learning so far i want to know your feedback honestly about what's been good and what's been bad and what needs to be changed do you feel all right so seventh grade today all right open that attached Google Doc, and you're going to follow the direction. This is going to look like this document right here. There are three videos about a Roman person about their life, about a Roman person's life. You pick one of them and answer these six questions about that video, about the characters in that video. All right, for sixth grade, you will be answering the same bell work question as the seventh graders that I went over. And you are going to go watch today's YouTube video, which is this video. And then you're going to complete the attached worksheet that has to do with this website. So this is the way. Click on the link. This you go here. And there are pictures. All right. Pictures of landforms that we have gone over yesterday. And you will be going through each one, starting with this one, the third image. And you'll be going to each one and describing each landform based on, right, 
the chart that is given to you. I filled out the first one. For example, the first one is starting with this one, the Rocky Mountains. And then the next ones you're going to write the Rocky Mountains. These are mountains because they rise very steeply from the surrounding area in the form of a peak. You can see these are mountains. Then you're going to be describing these hills right here. From what do you know about these hills? Describe the geography that is there. And once you're done, remember, as always, turn it in. All right, you're going to be doing nine and then answering the two questions at the end about the maps at the end, right? So at the map, at the end, these two maps. Oh, I didn't see you there. Well, that's it for today. Make sure to like and subscribe and see you tomorrow.